Good morning, everyone, and happy Monday to you. Although I guess when you watch this video, it may or may not be Monday. So happy whatever day it is for you. Um, welcome to Story Time with Miss Chelsea Peckhead. Uh, we're going to feature some more East readers today. This is a newer series called Snail and Worm, and they are silly little characters. And then we're going to sing Herman the Worm, because Herman the Worm is such a really silly song. Um, I'm watching the weather. It's cloudy today. It's supposed to be a little bit breezy and kind of cloudy on Wednesday, but it's supposed to be warm enough, so I think we're going to watch for a post here about outdoor story time soon. Um, so Snail and Worm. We actually have three Snail and Worm books at the library. But I'm going to just do these two today. Because otherwise you'll be re listening to me read for way too long. Alright. But first. These books are going to dance out of the way for a second. Ready? Everybody count. One. One. Story time has just begun. Everybody count. Two. Shake your shoulders, show your shoes. Hmm. You know me, no shoes for me. Everybody count three, three. Listen very carefully. Everybody count four, four. Put your bottoms on the floor, couch, chairs, beds, wherever you're listening from today. And you're going to hear my cats keep whining and whining and whining because they want to go outside. And they're just going to have to wait and hopefully they won't knock anything over. Because, you know, cats are like that. Alright, so we're going to start with Snail and Worm all a day. So those of you that love Elephant and Piggy or Frog and Toad, um... Kind of the new thing for easy readers is the pair of friends. Um, because who doesn't love friends? And a lot of the friends are kind of opposite in their demeanor, but not all of them. So we've got Snail and Worm. Worm is an earthworm with a really kind of long, slinky looking nose. But that's okay. So this is called Snail and Worm All Day, and then this one contains three little mini stories. This is written and illustrated by Tina Kugler, and this is, she is a Giesel Honor Award winner. So the first part, best day ever. All right, now we got to get our voices ready, right? Earthworm. Hello! Snail. Hi! Guess what? It is the best day ever! Well, that's a big proclamation when we haven't even started the day yet. Really? Yes! I broke my toy! That doesn't sound like the best day. I fell and bumped my shell, and I looked and looked, but I can't find my shoes anywhere. This is not sounding like the best day. To me. Maybe it is for Snail. That sounds bad. How is this your best day ever? Oh, it is not. My best day ever. Look, Frog learned to blow bubbles. It is her best day ever. And look, Caterpillar turned over a new leaf. It is his best day ever. Wow! Bird's eggs hatched. See her new babies? How many are there? One, two, three. It is her best day ever. You 
you are right. This is the best day ever. But I am sorry you are having a bad day. My day is not so bad. I just remembered that I don't wear shoes. <laughs> it's kind of a good perspective to have. The Sabuki Cave. What do you think this cave might be? Wow, look at this cave. It is so dark and spooky. Hello in there. Hello. Hello. <gasps> it talks. A dragon! Are you going to eat me? I am not going to eat you. Oh, please don't eat me. Terrible dragon! I am trying to take a nap. Please be quiet so I can take a nap. Help! Are you okay? Oh, I am so glad you are here. There is a terrible dragon in this cave. Hmm, is it really a dragon? I don't know. Are you talking about this turtle? A turtle? We have to save him from the dragon! Don't worry, turtle! We will save you! Excuse me, but... Turtle looks a little frustrated, don't you think? Ah! Run for your lives! Whew. I have never run so fast in my life. I need to take a nap. I am glad you are safe. Please be quiet so I can take a nap. Isn't that what Turtle said? A bedtime story. Is it bedtime? Or it is bedtime, but I cannot fall asleep. I am thinking about too many things. Will you tell me a story? Hmm, I wonder what story Earthworm would say. Yes, I will tell you a story. Are you ready? This is a scary story. No, this is not a scary story. Are you in the story too? I will be lonely if I am in a story all by myself. All right, I will be in the story too. How can you tell the story if you are also in the story? Maybe we can tell the story together? Sounds like a good idea. I know! You can tell the story and I will add the extra parts. That is a good idea. Wait! What if my story is not good? What if you do not like my parts of the story? I will love your story. Really? Yes, you are my friend. I like everything you do. Oh, you are my friend too. And I also like everything you do.
boy, that was a great story about me and you. Good night. Hmm, that was a really short story. Apparently, Worm fell asleep. So if the turtle says to be quiet, he needs to sleep, let him sleep. He's not a dragon. All right. Here they come again. Snail and worm again. All zip by Tina Coop. Hmm. What kind of weird things are they going to do now? Or silly. Hmm, snails' wings. Do snails have wings? Any snail I know don't have wings. Hey, wow! What is going on? Hmm, there's the wing. Or the feather. I grew wings! Wow! What will you do with your wings? Well, I don't know. I suppose I will fly away! Oh. Don't you like my wings? Why, yes, they are lovely, but I will be sad if you fly away. Oh, I did not think of that. Hmm. glad I will not fly away. I am glad too. Boy, I was not ready for wings. The mirror. Before we start that, I'm going to point this out. Because this is an easy reader, there's some repetitive text here. This is a level two because we're starting to get into a little bit more vocabulary. But there's some repeated things here. So Snail says, I'm glad. And then Earthworm repeats it. I am glad too. So there are some things that repeat that are easier for those who are learning to read to be able to read. It also kind of follows the pictures. And you can also notice that when they're talking, their mouths are open. So we know who's talking. Like in this page, we know this text. It changes color. It's brown. And Snail's mouth is open. Snail has brown text. Earthworm has blue text. The mirror. something come and see what is it it is a mirror look at me look at my reflection in the mirror is it a mirror what is it for those of you who are learning money it's a penny. Are you sure that is a mirror? Yes, of course. I am so handsome. I did not know I was so handsome. Are you sure that is your reflection? 
Why, yes! Look at my handsome chin. Does snail have a chin? Well, I don't know if snail really has a chin. Hmm. Worm doesn't either. There is a beard on that chin. You do not have a beard. I don't. Well, look at my handsome ears. Does snail have ears? You don't have ears. What? some hair. You don't have any hair either. That is not you. It isn't me? Then who is it? Who is it? Do you know who it is? <laughs> it is me. I did not know I was so handsome. Oh, you are right. You know, I always thought you were handsome, especially your ears. Does worm have ears? Do you know who it is? On the penny is a image of Abraham Lincoln, our 16th president. So it's not snail and it's not worm. Oh, now snail is sad. Good morning. Do you want to play? I don't think so. What is the matter? You look sad. My shell is so plain. I wish my shell were special. Look at that beautiful beetle. I wish my shell looked like that. There's the beetle. There's some lines on beetle's shell. In the sunshine, beetle's shell is kind of Look a little bit rainbowy iridescent. <clears throat> Your shell has stripes like beetle's shell. I suppose it does. But look at these pretty rocks. I wish my shell looked like that. Your shell is shiny like those rocks. I guess it is. But look at that, this orange flower. I wish my shell looked like that. Your shell is orange too. See? that. You are right. Your shell is all of those things together, but it is also different. It is yours. I did not think of that. Thank you. You are a good friend. I almost feel better now. Almost? I really wish I could ride a bicycle. Do you think snails can ride bicycles? They don't have legs. Or arms. It could be really hard to ride a bicycle. Hmm. Have to be a pretty adaptive bicycle in order to be able to ride it. 
maybe you can invent one a snail bicycle okay now <clears throat> we've sang Herman the Worm before and maybe you've heard it before it's a pretty silly song and it goes like you get to smack your bubble gum around it goes like this I was sitting on my fence post chewing my bubble gum playing with my yo-yo when along came Herman the Worm and he was this big because worms are really usually not that big and I said Herman what happened I ate my father what I was sitting on my fence post chewing my bubble gum playing with my yo-yo when along came Herman the Worm and he was this big and I said Herman what happened I ate my mother man this worm's eating a lot I was sitting on my fence post chewing my bubble gum playing with my yo-yo when along came Herman the worm and he was this big and I said Herman what happened I ate my sister I was sitting on my fence post chewing my bubble gum playing with my yo-yo when along came Herman the worm and he was this big and I said Herman what happened I ate my brother I was sitting on my fence post chewing my bubble gum playing with my yo-yo when along came Herman the worm and he was this big and I said, Herman, what happened? I burped. That's a lot of worms to eat. And then burp out. Ooh. Should we do it one more time? Let's see. What's our time like? Yeah, we can do it again. Ready? So, you're going to get on your fence post. You got to put your bubble gum in your mouth. Ready? I was sitting on my fence post, chewing my bubble gum, playing with my yo-yo. Wee -yo, wee -yo. When along came Herman the Worm, and he was this big. And I said, Herman, what happened? I ate my father. I was sitting on my fence post, chewing my bubble gum. Playing with my yo-yo. Wee-oo, wee-oo. How many of you have yo-yos? When along came Herman the Worm. And he was this big. And I said, Herman, what happened? I ate my mother. I was sitting on my fence post, chewing my bubble gum. Playing with my yo-yo. Wee-oo, wee-oo. When along came Herman the Worm and he was this big and I said Herman what happened I ate a sister now these are worms he's eating mind you not people I was sitting on my fence post chewing my bubble gum Playing with my yo-yo, wee-oo, wee-oo, when along came Herman the Worm. And he was this big. And I said, Herman, what happened? I ate my brother. I was sitting on my fence post, chewing my bubble gum. Playing with my yo-yo, wee-oo, wee-oo. When along 
came Herman the Worm. And he was this big. And I said, Herman, what happened? A bird. The end. All right. So if you like snail and worm, uh, there's one more story. And they will be back on the shelf in Elizabeth a little bit later this week. So you can check those out. But right now, you can stretch your alligator mouths way out. Ready? And see you later, alligator in a wild crocodile. Give a hug, make me bug. Blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon out the door, dinosaur. Take care, Rawr. polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly. All right, have a lovely afternoon, and I will see you, hopefully, in person on Wednesday.